In this video, I'll introduce you to a free AI-powered audio-to-text or video-to-text transcription software that is available for Mac, Windows, and Linux users, and it's powered by OpenAI's Whisper. Welcome to this video. My name is David, and I'm excited to introduce you to Buzz, B-U-Z-Z. -Z. This is a free application that is available for Mac, uh, uh, Intel x86, I believe, Windows, and Linux, and it's free and it's powered by OpenAI's Whisper. Now, we first of all going to look at how it works, uh, and this is the interface. It doesn't look intuitive at all, but all we want is a transcript uh, for this matter. So it just looks like this. You get a task, either you transcribe or translate, because you can use it to translate audio from other languages into English text, and then you can use the detect languages, supports over 100 languages, really, really awesome. Then you can set the quality either to low, medium, high, and then you can choose a microphone if you actually wanted to record and have these automatically transcribed on Windows. Now, the interface might look a little bit different on Mac and Linux, but this is what it looks like on Windows. To use it to automatically transcribe files that is video and audio on your computer, all you need to do is just click on File or press on Control o on Windows or Command o on uh, Mac. So I'll click on import audio file. I wish they had a better name, uh, but let's uh, like import file, click import audio file, and then we'll navigate to the folder uh, with the file that we want to actually uh, convert to text. That is the audio. Click on the folder and then I'll find this particular file. Click on it. And from this section, you'll see that the audio file supported include MP3, WAV, M4A, and OGG. And then if you click on the drop down, if you wanted to upload videos, video file includes MP4, WebM, and OGM. So let's click on audio files and we can click on open. Once we click on open, a new dialog box will pop up with our audio file that we want. Uh, it's The title is up here. As I mentioned that the interface could be a little bit intuitive, probably give us a bigger look and also maybe some editing. Uh, you can do the edits inside here, etc. Uh, but let's see how it works. What task do we want to be performed? We need this transcribed. So if the audio was, an, was in a different language, you can use the translate option for it to be translated and the output is an English transcript. But we want to, uh, to transcribe the language. Uh, we want English, press on E and then press on enter. The quality. There are three quality levels at the time of recording this video. Low, medium and high. Now the low uh, quality file uh, as it means obviously the quality is going to be low because it uses the tiny whisper model and then we have the medium the medium i believe uses the base model and then we have the high that uses the small model now there is also i believe uh, uh the high uses the small but i believe there is a medium model above the small but there is no difference, major difference between the small and the medium. So we'll choose the high. The quality of the transcript we want needs to be high. And then what do you want to export this file as? As a text file, SRT subtitles, or VTT subtitles. Now let's go for text and let's click on run. We're going to get a prompt uh, to actually save our file, which is really awesome. And then we'll save it where we want it to be. I want it to be in the same folder. Click on save. And once you do that, click on run again. Now, processing. How to, as you see, unknown time remaining. Just give it a couple of seconds. Now my fans have kicked in. It's saying 18 seconds remaining. And the file is about a minute and 30 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. So it's, it's really, really awesome that we can now have a free audio to text or video to text transcription software available on Windows, Mac and Linux. So probably uh, you can test it out, but we're going to look at the documentation and the links in the next section, uh, but it's almost done. And this is what we get. So I can just uh, like press on enter to try and uh, clean it up a little bit. Uh, and it looks a little bit better. Uh, so probably everything is going to be in view. Uh, so let us see if you're going to actually uh, have what what I really wanted to achieve in this particular video. So um, let's.
let's say I'll just I'm just hitting on enter and then we can now go to the folder with the file so here are the files what I want us to do is just listen through and see if what is in the script this particular transcript is what was being said in this video I'll show you how to find and replace incorrect words or names in the script storyboard welcome to this video my name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world now it's pretty simple to do that and we're going to click on the search icon here just click on that and let's say we already know the name that we want to find and replace in this case I want to change the word resolve resolve in every situation here has a small r and that is what I want to change so I'm going to type it up and when you begin typing it up here the results are going to show on the right hand side so let's type in resolve and once you do that you'll notice that there are seven uh, uh, results in this composition so if you'd like to correct and change this just click on correct transcript now what I want to do is change this to capital R so I'm going to, to write resolve looks good and because I want to apply to all of this I'll just click on apply to all if I click on that and you see the results right here everything has changed into the R now is capitalized uh, simply put if it's a name that was wrong if it's maybe a word that is repeated you can use the find and replace option in the script storyboard to quickly replace uh, some of those files fast i hope this tutorial is of value to anybody that's looking to find and replace incorrect words or names in the script storyboard thanks for watching so it's done now the probably the one thing that i feel it did not get is just uh the script storyboard and uh, it's just in a couple of sections here uh the script storyboard in this script storyboard so just a couple of sections here and maybe the capitalizations of the r for resolve etc but everything else is good so i don't know if you guys can see how powerful this is i wish it were it had the option to have like an interface for you to make the edits on uh, once the transcript is produced maybe there's an interface here for you to play a uh, cut uh, do all the simple nitty-gritty things that you wanted to do but for the purpose of this video we have achieved automatically transcribing our audio to text for free without using any paid applications now let's go now to the documentation and everything so uh, i'll open the particular website and it's on github uh, this is by chidi williams and it's called buzz Buzz transcribes and translates audio offline on your personal computer and it's powered by OpenAI's Whisper. Now you can read uh, what it does and this is what it looks like on a Mac. Uh, very, very different uh, from what we get uh, with uh, on Windows. And you can see the features, real-time transcription and translation from your computer's microphone to text. You can import audio and video files and export transcripts to text, SRT and VTT. So installation to install, download the latest version. I'll just right click on this open link in new tab. Uh, the latest is the version I'm using 0.52 as of three days ago. Uh, but let's go back to the documentation for Windows. You download and extract the windows.tr.gz file and run the buzz.exe file. So if you come here to download for Windows, you go to this particular one. Just click on it. It's about 241 MB. For Linux is 1.47 GB and for Mac is about 327 MB. Uh, if you're downloading for Windows, you click on that, it starts downloading. And once it's done, on your downloads folder, you get something like this. And then you can extract it and you'll get something like this. And the file that uh, the buzz.exe file is this particular file here that you just double click and it opens up what we have right here. So uh, that's the basic of that. Let's go back to this. As for Linux, obviously you'll see all these different uh, options and you can see the how to use what everything means if you're interested in reading this documentation. Now, the only one section that I've noticed for the Windows users is that uh, we are at a, dis at is a, at a disadvantage because uh, if you enable GGML inference, it's uh, by default, it's off. 
you can turn this on uh, to use inference from whisper.cpp. Now, this runs faster than the Whisper original because if you've seen some of my tutorials on subtitle edit using Whisper, it's taking a really, really long time. So the implementation requires a different set of models for inference. The setting is also not available on Windows and with the detect language option, it should fall back to the original Whisper inference. So you can see the documentation and all that. But uh, simply put, what I can say is that Buzz is really going to create a buzz in the audio to text and video to text uh, transcription service, especially for somebody on a budget. Uh, you can easily use this, let your audio run, uh, and then you get the transcript, edit it the way you want to edit it, and you'll save a ton of time and money for your transcription uh, process. So that's it for this video. It was just an introduction to Buzz, the free AI powered audio to text or video to text transcription software available for Mac, Windows, and Linux, and it is powered by OpenAI's Whisper. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope it's of value to you.